Welcome back Mechanical AI. Did you know that the reservation information along with flight schedule stored in an airline's database can easily be retrieved using a database management system? This makes us wonder, what is a database management system? Before we jump in, check out the previous part of this series to learn about what a database is. Now, a database management system provides users and programmers with a systematic way to create, retrieve, update and manage data. The people who interact with a DBMS are called users. They are of four basic types. First are application programmers and as the name suggests, they are the ones who write application programs that uses the database. They generally code using COBOL or Java. Second come the end users, which are the users who access the database from the terminal end using developed applications. Third are the database administrators who are responsible for making the policies, strategies and provide technical support. Finally come the system analysts who handle the feasibility, economic and technical aspects of DBMS. An enterprise database is used by enterprises and large organizations to manage their huge collection of data. They have the following advantages. First, enterprise systems help file transfer in an efficient way, irrespective of their format. Second, workers can create groups using enterprise system enabling synergy. They also have lower maintenance costs as the software is designed to meet those specific needs. There however are many concerns over the deployment of enterprise databases, a few of them being deployment issues, cybersecurity attacks and privilege based problems. Hence we first saw what a database management system and its users are and then went on to see what the advantages and disadvantages of using an enterprise database are. So like, subscribe and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for those constructive comments. You helped the channel grow. So, here are the top mechanical EIs of our last videos. In the next episode of Mechanical EI, find out what data independence is.